Hey guys, welcome to the Traditional Bow Hunting and Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. Today, we are going to talk about a brand new headlight that I have that I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be kind of a game changer for me. You know I love my headlamps. You know that uh, I've been kind of stuck with, uh, not stuck with, but I, I've been very dedicated to Eagle, or to uh, Zebra Light headlamps for the last 10 years or so. I've, I've loved these headlamps. They're incredible. Still are. Don't get me wrong. They're incredible. I have the 18650 models. Uh, I have the CR123 models. Uh, my daughter has one of the AA models. These are incredible lights. These Zebra Light headlamps. Uh, they work phenomenal. They've been flawless. I, I love them. They're great lights. Matter of fact, uh, I still got a brand new one here that I haven't even opened yet. A uh, H32 model. Same as what that was. But uh, one right here that I still haven't even opened up. It's still in the box and not even used yet that I've had for about a year that just sits there on the shelf case I needed a spare. Um, but they're incredible lights. The zebra lights were great. This new one is something that I wanted to try out because of some of the things I found on it that were interesting. Number one, the, the simplicity of user input for the functions on this one was way easier than all the click, hold, hold for high, low, medium, double click between H1 and H2 and all the different things that the Zebra Light has. Don't get me wrong, Zebra Light's got a lot of great features to it, but it's it's also kind of complicated when all you want to do is go a little brighter or a little less, a little more light, a little less light. That's all I needed to do sometimes, and they're getting so complicated with their two levels of outputs, double click between each, you got two highs, two mediums, two lows, and they're set a little different. So um, I thought I'd try this out. Now this is the Phoenix HM50R. I had the other Phoenix, the uh, HL50. I have it in my truck. I use it in here all the time. I use it bow fishing. It's a great light. I've been real happy that Phoenix has never let me down. Uh, I've had that for about two and a half, three years, and I use it quite a bit for everything. And it's also my around camp light that I use uh, so that I can sweat in it, be around bonfires, and not have it get on the one that I carry in my pack. So uh, with the Zebra light being in my pack and that Phoenix being my general use light, I use that Phoenix a lot. Uh, when they came out with this one, it addressed some of the issues with that one, and I like I like this one better. Uh, this is it. This is that Phoenix. This is that HM50R. I'll bring it in where you can see it here. But this is that Phoenix HM50R, and it is actually, if you look at it, and you see size-wise here, it is smaller in size than my... Uh, than my uh, beloved Zebra Light uh, CR123 battery. It is actually smaller in size, uh, lighter in weight, uh, smaller in diameter, as you can see on there, uh, smaller in head size. It's just it's a, it's a difference there between these two lights, and it's lighter weight. Now, one thing that's pretty cool on this is it, uh, this feature it does have to check the battery amount. All you have to do, I'm going to try and cover this so you can see it, but if you just tap that back on there, it's telling me each flash tells me what percentage I have of battery life. 25%, 50%, 75%. So if I tap that again, you can see it one, two, and three. So you know that I got about 75% battery life in this battery that's on here. So it's a great feature that it tells you that and shows you that. So it's kind of nice. It does have a tail lockout so that you can't turn it on like the, the Zebra Light does. Just twist the cap. A turn and then uh, it can't accidentally go on in your pack which is really a nice feature twist the cap back tight when you're ready to use it and you have it now the functions of this light are what's phenomenal on here uh, is the fact that you only have four modes okay the zebra light was great if you want a lot of stuff but again all you need to do is I want to be able to use a medium mode when I'm walking into my stand and I so I can see once I get to my stand, I want to be able to click down to low mode, and I want that low mode usable. I don't want moonlight or something like that. I want it low enough that I can use it uh, where I can be see my hand. So when I throw a strap around a tree, I can see right here when I buckle and lock it and as I'm moving up. And if i got to disconnect my lineman belt, I can see. That's all I need low mode to do. Let me climb the tree and get up there uh, sweet and easy. Uh, so it comes in real handy with low mode and then medium mode, which I use when I'm walking in a lot. Then, uh, high mode I do use when I'm blood trailing. I mean, that's it. that works really good because you can be up here and it can shine good enough that you can see really well. So I do like definitely like high mode. Turbo is huge, but I only really use turbo if I am if I am blood trailing and I think I might see an animal ahead of me and I want to see if it's mine, I can turn that on and I can really throw that light out there far and verify if that's the animal I'm looking for or not. That kind of stuff, if I lo lose a bright eye or sometimes those bright eyes will get clogged up in the rain with water with a water drop 
drop on them and you can't see them real well. So then that's where I can kick that up if I need to. So uh, I don't use the turbo mode or the ultra high mode, you know, on any of these headlamps too often, but they are there if you want them. Uh, so they come in as a nice feature. Now, the way they have it set up, the other beauty of this light is it runs on two different battery options. You can have a C single CR123A battery if you want to, just a standard single one. Uh, or you can run their new 16340 rechargeable battery, which is what this is right here. This is a 16340 rechargeable battery. It's the same size as a CR123. And they give you a USB for this, and you can see right here on it. Uh, let me get you set up where you can see. Right there, I'm hoping. There is a you can pop that open, that rubber grommet open, and there is a place to uh, recharge this. And you can run this battery and you can charge it uh, and run it through there if you want to, too. Now, I personally, I prefer to use the CR123s because my other lights use them and I always have them. So I probably won't mess with that rechargeable one too much. But it is a nice option, uh, especially if you're using it every daylight, uh, your electrician or using it on the job or things like that, It's or in camp. It's nice to have that rechargeable option where you can just plug it in to a charger uh, anything of any battery pack anything that'll charge your cell phone will charge that battery in this for you so that's kind of a nice feature it's, it's nice that they offer that option in this light and the way they sealed that USB port up on there as you can see they did a phenomenal job locking that down and making sure that it's nice and tight and in there uh, and not going to come out or anything so they did good same type of uh, strap on here or actually a holder as like the zebra light uses where it's just basically silicone uh, same kind of concept uh, what's nice though the Phoenix gives you a spare one of these I uh, have one here and let me grab it I can show you but you have inside the box they give you they give you extra o-rings and uh, another uh, USB cover so that's what's inside of that sorry I gotta focus it on my laptop there but there's an o-ring in there and another one of those USB replaceable covers if you were to damage it they give you the charging cable which is really nice for that and then they also give you a spare holder setup so you have one more of these if you were to need it uh, so that's nice they give you all that I know for zebra light uh, it was like 12 bucks plus 8 bucks for shipping to get another one of these uh, silicone holders with that I, I bought for one of my other lights uh, so this is a nice option that they give you that and zebra light does not give you a battery these do they give you this rechargeable battery comes already with the light when you get it so that's a definite nice feature I, I I'm really impressed with the quality of this um, so far I love that they actually even if you look they put silicone on the inside of that strap zebra light doesn't do that now that's not a major you know major thing but it does keep that from moving that thing does not slide on your head it sticks and stays still uh, won't come up or down it's just it's, it's a nice feature on it quality throughout on this light I'm very impressed with it now the functionality really simple you basically turn the light on whoop, hang on oh I probably should lock out the tail cap right there and oh right in the eyeballs uh, so you turn the light on by the side button here I'll turn it back off but right here on this you hit the side button on there and it turns on and it does have memory for whatever your last setting was but then you click right through so here's low mode okay so there's low uh, right there like that you click it again and you go to the medium mode which is a little bit brighter uh, basically low mode is actually let me start that over so you can see it here we'll go right through them and all right so you got low mode right here I'm, ho I'm watching you on a laptop see if I can see you there but that's low coming in at four lumens then if you click it again you go up to medium mode medium mode is 30 lumens okay and low mode is going to last for 128 hours that's a gold mine with a CR123 medium mode is going to be 30 lumens and run for 48 uh, hours 30 lumens is perfect for what I need to walk in and out of a tree, into a stand, into the woods. Perfect. Lights everything up around me well enough that I can see it. Not too overpowering. Doesn't take away from your night vision too bad. It just does a great job. So that medium mode is perfect. When you go to high mode, high mode is also a phenomenal one. So when I go up to high, what you're seeing there, that's 130 lumens and it's going to last for 14 hours. That's a beautiful zone right there that's a great place to be at I mean that, that gives you it's a nice the, the way they have spaced out the lumen modes on this is incredible and then if I need more I hit that again and I go straight up to turbo 500 lumens on that thing which is just screaming bright 
perfect beam pattern to it for what we do as hunters. It's a great light, uh, and then you, you uh, press to hold and it turns off. So that's your CR123 settings. You're getting two hours on 500 lumens, two hours of light time. That's, you know, give you an example, uh, my Eagle Tac that I carry all the time right here. This is a 500 lumen light. I get 0.9 hours at 500 lumens on this. This is over twice as much light capacity on this as I get out of this one at that level. Um, so that two hours at 500 lumens, incredible. Now, when you jump over to that rechargeable, these get a little weird. I don't quite understand the way it works on here because you jump up a half hour, you actually on high get 2.5 hours out of this light according to their site on that rechargeable battery. But when you go to a high mode, you drop down from 14 hours to 10 hours, um, but you did gain that half hour on turbo. When you go to medium, you go from 48 hours to 24 hours, and on low, you go from 128 to 90. So you're almost kind of cutting in half your usable zones that you would use by going to the rechargeable. So I'll stick with the CR123s, but it is nice to have that option. And they do supply you with the battery. So it is a, it is a great setup. I'm super excited uh, to try this light. I love the lightweight factor of it. And uh, if it turns out to be as good as I'm expecting it to, this may be my new go-to light. Phoenix is a great company. They build rock solid stuff. My other light from them has been phenomenal. We have a couple of their flashlights laying around. So somewhere that do a great job as well too. I think one's on my bow fishing boat, um, but I, I, they're good and they're not ridiculously priced. This thing is not much money. Actually, it's less money than the uh, Zebra Light model is. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to try it. Something that you might be interested in, Phoenix HM50R headlamp. Like I said, there's the benefits to it, but I'm pretty pumped about this thing. We're going to take it out and use it this season and see what it does, but it is 100% waterproof, shockproof, scratch resistant. Uh, got the tail lockout on there, which is super nice. So when I put it in my pack, there's no chance of it turning on automatically. They put a lot of thought into this light. Now uh, the HL50 that I have had for a few years was a great light, but not quite. They, they've really taken it to the next level with this one and put it into, into that zebra light playing field. And I think they've done it better for what we need. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to try it out, check it out. I will put a description down below for you so you can find it and see all the specs on it. Highly recommend you check it out. While you're in the description down there, on your way to there, hit the subscribe button down below. That way you get all this information that I'm bringing to you. You get updated whenever new videos come out and uh, thanks for watching. I'll be back with more stuff soon. We'll talk to you later. Bye.